Thanks for staying with us. Let's go to the story. 45 worshippers have been killed when their bus went out of control, fell over a bridge and caught fire on the mountain pass between Mokopane and Makan in Limpopo. Let's get you the details now. Pimani Baloi, a CBC News reporter, is standing by to bring us the very latest. Pimani, what else do we know? Good evening, Bongiwe, and good evening to our viewers. It's such a horrific ex accident scene, Bongiwe, that we've just witnessed uh, at Marken, where that bus, we understand, was carrying about 45 passengers, including uh, with the driver who, who made it 46 uh, people in that bus. It was traveling past a bridge when it looks like this bus had a trailer, and inside the trailer from some of the first respondents who were on site, there were things like your gas stove, your paraffin stoves, because these people were traveling to Moria for the long weekend, to the St. Engena St. Christian Church in Moria, where they were hoping to spend the long weekend. When uh, when it tried to curve at the bridge, it lost control and it fell down about 40 meters down into a stream, which was very rocky, which is very rocky, Bongiwe, and we understand it immediately caught fire. Only one person, an eight-year-old girl, we are told was able to survive that accident scene but all the other occupants of that bus 45 of them perished some of them were told they as their bodies are still uh, uh, caught in that bus they are still trapped in the uh, bus as authorities are trying to find ways to find jaw of lives to try and cut the bus open and get them out but we understand that their bodies are now unidentifiable the minister of uh, transport Ms. Cindy Suesi Shikunga was one of the people who rushed to the accident scene and she was telling us that there might be need for DNA examinations in order for these people to be identified. But other information that we know, Bongi, was that this bus is said to have been traveling from Khaburone in Botswana. It was going to Moria for that Easter pilgrimage. So at this point, the minister is saying that they've sent their message of condolences to the government of Botswana. They've also sent their message of condolences to the families of the deceased but at this point they are not clear what could have led to that bus losing control and veering off the road and then dropping down about 40 kilometers into that stream that rocky stream but the other thing that we know Bongo, is that authorities right now are working very hard none of the people who died in that accident including others whose bodies are outside the bus have been able to be moved from uh, that accident scene because you understand it's a rocky place and it's deep inside this bridge with authorities saying if there's need they will be getting uh, a, a chopper to airlift the bodies in order for them to be removed stating that they would be working throughout the night to ensure that that scene is cleared but that road the entire bridge stretch where this accident happened at this point remains closed with authorities telling people to use alternative routes when they need to move between Mukopane and Mark and uh, Bongiwe. And Pemani, what do we know about th this little girl? Where is she? The little girl, we understand, has been airlifted to the nearest hospital where she's getting medical attention. We're not clear about uh, the state that she's in, whether she's critical or if she's better. But authorities have assured us that she's receiving medical attention as she was airlifted to the nearest hospital. And Pimani, this also, of course, again, um, you know, shines the spotlight on road safety, especially in, in the province where you are, um, you know, given the volumes of motorists uh, that it is expecting. So what have authorities said in this particular regard when it comes to that, especially given the number of, of officers that they may need to deploy to also ensure safety on the roads? Yes, Bongiwe, the MEC of Transport here in Limpopo, Miss Florence Razilani, was also part of the team that accompanied Minister Chikunga to that accident scene. And she did emphasize that their authorities are 
all over the province, especially deadly roads. But she also raised concerns that, you know, their target for this year was to lower fatality statistics, especially in comparison to last year, where they say about 33 people perished during the entire Easter long weekend. But right now, she says, you know, it's concerning that on the first day of this long weekend, 45 lives were lost, even though they're not uh, as residents of this province or this country. It's still statistics that will be sticking to them. And also, we've had the minister emphasizing uh, people must choose their roads selectively, the routes that they use when they travel, stating that this specific bus could have used the N1 in order to get to Moria, but choosing that uh, Kevicious road could have led to this accident as well, with authorities calling for people to be cautious, live on time, travel during the day instead of in the evening, and ensure that when they are fatigued, they rest on the side of the road. Uh, Bongiwe. All right, Pemani, a very, very disturbing story, and I'm sure one that, uh, you know, the province of Limpopo will be seized with um, in the coming days as uh, everyone tries to make sense. And uh, there's now going to be DNA, um, you know, that is taken. You can only imagine the testing and the processes that are likely to unfold now. But we'll leave it there with you and we'll continue to get updates then as and when they come. That is Pemani Baloi, a CBC News reporter, 45 worshippers dying there in that particular accident. So we will track the story for you.